Hi, welcome to a video on the Samsung Gear smartwatch, the front of version. And just gonna have a quick look at the update that's come out uh, recently. Uh, not too many changes, but uh, a couple just to show you. So, first of all, you'll notice now that there's only six icons on the um, menu, pull down menu screen. Before there was four, so slightly bigger, makes it a bit easier to uh, control and uh, if you've got big big fingers you can obviously access them. Um, next up is the weather app. Now before with the weather you have to scroll down to the bottom to refresh it whereas now they've actually added the update to the top which is really useful um, because what happened in the past was you'd read all the weather for the days before and then you'd have to scroll to the bottom and update it and then uh, go back to the top again and read it again. Um, this seems to be good as well, this display on the right, giving you the amount of UV. Quite good for the weather today because uh, potentially I think it's going to be very warm. So now I can scroll all the way through and see everything. Oh, going to get a bit of rain next week, <laughs> which is quite good. Um, other changes then. We now have this Bixby Assistant, which uh, takes a while to install. Um, I pressed install a couple of times. I'm just waiting for it to, to install and work. This is Samsung's new voice assistant. Um, I haven't tried it out yet, but I'll do a video uh, later on when, uh, when that installs. What also appears to have happened is the little buttons at the top where you could move to the next menu screen have disappeared. So it looks like we are having to use the bezel in order to move round. Um, there's no more oh, sorry. Uh, there's no more option now just to jump between the menu screens. I'll just uh, reset that. Yeah there used to be a little button didn't there where you could press and jump between the screens that uh, has gone now. So we're just using the full bezel which is okay. Not a, not a problem really. Um, you can set it so that you can have them scrolling down in one long line, but obviously this is a, a nicer setup uh, like this. Something else that's new is the countdown. So you may know that uh, the watch has a countdown. I'm trying to find it, here we go. Now, uh, it actually has preset countdowns already. So before you just used to type in what they were, but now you've got one minute, five minute and 10 minutes. And you can um, start on them. You can also set the timers as well, which is quite useful. If you use a seven and a half minute timer every day, then you can edit it and have that ready to go. Uh, another feature that has changed is the workouts. So if we go to workout, we've now got uh, light jogging as well as some other um, workouts but if I go to standard one here we've now got this green color that counts down quite useful when you're out in the sunlight and the interface has changed slightly there which is good but it's a bit bolder and brighter um, useful for when you're you know if you're a run or you're sweating or you know you're, you're moving fast on your workout you can actually see this, um, this this screen better. Obviously you're going to end it. Red button for finish, you don't press it by mistake. End the workout. And it now actually gives you a bit of a, oh, missed it there, but it actually gives you a bit more detail about the workout and uh, what's happened. Okay, so if you've updated, let me know how you're getting on. Um, any features I haven't seen yet. And uh, thanks for watching.